Bridge and no Big Baby. I ain't coming lay down. Yeah, so the other big babies on this card, like I'll cry your baby Anderson. That's my son. That's my left nut. If I had a left nut and left it in, in my in the pamper, that's the big baby I'm talking about. You know, I call him AKA Cry your Baby. He cries a lot. Um, no, we 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 two different fighters, man. I, I'm I'm a grown man. That's a little. Ooh. Where's this coming from? Is it just from the name, or has there been you know talk no, in the past? My, th my thing is this though, you know, you could talk a lot of shit on social media, but when you see me in person, you don't got that same energy. If any, any fighter that knows me knows me, when you see me, it's gonna be on, I'm popping, I'm gonna be on your face, I'm gonna be in your neck, in and outside the ring. Some guys don't think, some guys think that's if the TV's fake. I'm not like that. I'm real, 24/7. So, you know, you talk that, sh see me now, you see me, you know, in, in, in the hotel lobby. He ain't walking real fast. He don't want no smoke. Him and Tina really don't want no smoke with me. Believe that. Future fight then, I would imagine. Yeah, if he get past Bacoli, which I don't think he will. You know, he's only been fighting cruiserweights his whole entire career. He fought Charles Martin a 10-day notice, and Charles almost had him out of there. You know what I mean? So, we're going to see. But I think Bacoli is way too much for him to handle. Bacoli's a real heavyweight. You know what I mean? So, now, don't be surprised if, 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 if um, Anderson quits on the stool. I would not be surprised. Not what surprised. makes you like? Well, what do you see there? I, I'm good at look, I'm good at reading styles, man. I'm good at reading style. I'm good at reading people. I'm really good at reading their, their gestures on their face. I've seen them in other fights with guys with lesser than Bacoli, and he, he mentally kind of you see him mentally kind of have moments where he struggled. Bacoli can take a punch, and he doesn't mind getting beat up for three or four, or five rounds to keep putting the pressure on. I don't see Anderson taking that kind of beating that Bacoli could and deliver it back. You know, looking at your. And those are the words, once again, of Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Um, he said some graphic stuff about uh, <laughs> Big Baby Anderson, you know, thinks he's got quit in him, thinks that uh, he's a crybaby, thinks that, you know, he's uh, he comes from my left, you know what. Hmm. Um, he won't get past Bacali. And a lot of people thought and think that Bacali will beat Jared Anderson. And let me counterpunch. Um, first of all, Jarrell Miller said the same thing about Daniel Dubois. Okay, so you got to remind yourself in what happened in that fight when he fought Daniel Dubois. He ran out of gas, and Daniel Dubois kicked that ass. Bars. <laughs> That's what happened. I mean, you know. Um, and other than that, though, um, Martin Bacali, you know, is a tough customer. I mean, on paper, you know what I mean? And based on his own bragging rights. But we will just have to see. And we will see what Jared Anderson is made of, too. Um, one thing about Turkey al I have to remind people that he doesn't make fights that put you to sleep. He makes fights that make you intrigued to see how the hell will this fight go? Those are the type of matchups that you need as a promoter, as a consumer, as a fan. That's the fights you want to see, the fights that he's making. Martin McCauley versus Jared Anderson. That's a good fight, bro. You know what I mean? Could you think of some couple other good fights? Sure. But this one is good by itself. And Jarrell Miller don't think that he's going to make it. I think honestly it suggests that he doesn't want Jared Anderson to make it. You know what I mean? Because of the, you know, the scuffle they had. And he mentioned that, you know, and um, him and not Jared Anderson necessarily, but, you know, they had words and Jared Anderson's friend or whatever that kind of looks like Jared Anderson. But, you know, um, I don't think Big Baby respects Jared Anderson, and Jared Anderson hasn't really done what he is or should have or people look for him to do, you know, because I don't know how that fight's going to go. I honestly don't. I picked him to win because, you know, he's a boxer and he can move. And if he can box and he can move and he can void Martin McCauley, he could beat him by decision. You know what I mean? That's why I chose him. But that may not be the case based on what I seen on Martin McCauley. Martin McCauley is a hard hitting, heavy handed, big bloke. I seen them, you know, together. And then Martin McCauley is not a small guy. You know what I mean? And, you know, fighting someone like that, 
watch out. This is not a Jerry Forrest. This is not a Charles Martin. Okay. This is none of those guys. So we'll see what Jared Big Baby Anderson can do. But Gerald Miller thinks he has quit in him and he may quit on the stool, which is surprising to me because, you know, I didn't see that in Jared Anderson. Okay. But we have to see if Jarrell Miller's prediction is correct. But you guys tell me what you think of Jarrell Big Baby Miller stating that Jared Big Baby Anderson will possibly quit on his stool. He won't get past Martin McCauley. He is a crybaby. He is a quitter. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.